Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Howard Destination 4 bike rack carrier here on the back of our 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. So this can be a pretty decent way of getting a lot of bikes on the back of your vehicle. Now, I will say it is a bit plastic fantastic, and it's not the prettiest bike rack out there. However, it does a very good job of actually securing your bikes, albeit we do have a few limitations. The first one is going to be that we have a 35 pound per bike capacity rating. So do keep that in mind. You are going to be a little, little limited on the weight of bikes you can get on here. But what I really, really like about it, very, very versatile system. Here where we're actually holding onto our bike, our cradles have 360 degrees of rotation, making it really easy to get on a variety of bikes. Our women's bike here, you can see, has a little bit of a non-standard frame and still quite easily able to latch onto there, which is great. So I like this for a lot of things from BMX bikes, women's bikes, step-through bikes, even step-through bikes. As you can see, this gets really, really low. Might have an A-OK -okay time actually clamping onto here. Now, the limitation of that, though, we are going to have a frame hold on here. So probably not going to be great for your carbon frame bikes, albeit we're not putting a lot of stress on that frame. But if you were to have any kind of side-to-side -side action, we don't, we don't want to warp that frame for ourselves. So that's going to be the big caveat with that frame mount. Now you are seeing two cradles here on either end. These guys are excellent for widening out for a variety of bikes. And our cradles here, as you can see, actually are able to be transposed. What I mean by that, we have two sets where we can actually put them, making it just a little more versatile, which is great. Now I wish there was a third down here. Unfortunately, we are limited to the two here. But honestly, it does a great job of allowing a lot of different bikes to fit on here. Now that strap, of course, is going to ratchet down securing our bikes. And I really like this plastic uh, surrounding piece. It's a little bit of a soft rubber, I should say, actually. And therefore, we're not going to be damaging our rim as we tighten this down, which is great to see. On the very end, too, you are seeing some white reflectors. Love to see those, letting people know exactly where we are when we're in front of them. That way, hopefully, we can reduce any kind of accidents we might have. And it's honestly something I wish that a lot more carriers had, especially Especially in something like an all black rack such as this, it's nice to let people know behind us exactly where we are. Well, let's go ahead and take a look here at how our bikes are actually interacting with our Volkswagen Tiguan here today. If I take a look from the back unseen, right now my handlebars are going to be the biggest point of entry for my rear window here. Now, maybe you've had a higher seating seat post, you might see a little bit of kind of impact there as well, but again, and this is going to, see, going to be something you see almost any carrier out here just because of how our Taquan sits. Our hitch is just kind of right there. Now, on four, or luckily for us, it's not going to be impacting it too much. But once you get four bikes on here, you're really going to lose a lot of visibility. And that's something you have to keep in mind when you're putting a lot of bikes on the back of your vehicle. It's just kind of innately there. Now, it's not interacting too poorly with our taillights here today yet. But as we get four bikes on here, you're definitely going to see a loss of this visibility. Now, what's great, of course, we do have that top cowling letting people know when we're braking and those reflectors as well, hopefully making people aware of where we are on the road, which is great to see. Now, a big limitation to this guy, though, is the fact that it can't actually tilt away with our bikes on there. We're not going to be able to open up our hats without quickly taking off our bikes, and that can be a no-go for some people out there. So if you're wanting something that can actually tilt away, you're going to have to start looking at some of our premium carriers to get up to four bikes on the back of it. Now, if two bikes are what you're really going for, maybe a Rocky Mounts monorail two-bike platform rack. That's an excellent um, carrier just to actually tilt out of the way without breaking the bank, which is really nice. Um, and there are there is going to be a three-bike add-on available for that. But that can be a little limiting. And unfortunately, it's just kind of something you're working with here on the destination. You know, it's not the most premium carrier out there, and we have to work around that. But let's go ahead and start taking off our bike here. I'm going to start by taking out my rear straps, pressing on that lever, taking them out. I do like how we have that eye hole right there, making it easier to cinch down our straps, which is really great, especially for something, you know, when your hands are cold or wet or rainy, anything like that. Actually getting in there and tightening this up is excellent. So repeating that process on our other wheel, getting that guy out of the way. And I like how these cradles can turn, I'm sorry, the straps can turn a little bit too and just get them out of the way. That way I get my bike off easier. But that does bring us to our last hold here on our bike. We're going to make sure we're doing a good job of holding onto it. That way it's not tilting into the vehicle. Simply pressing on that allows you to start taking this guy out just like so. And now I can take my bike, get that cradle out of the way, and start riding. Now I will say, it can be a little difficult to get to, just because our platform is so wide and long, 
So do keep that in mind. Now, if you have a lot of people with you, though, second pair of hands never hurt anybody, right? Well, Nat's gone ahead and taken off our bike. To access our hatch now, what we need to do is lower this center mass still. We can do that by bringing ourselves to the inside post, loosening up that speed knob, and then taking that cam lever, pushing it to the side, and we can bring this guy down as well, which is great. What I like to do, take your extra strap here as well, run it through this little guy right here, back into that post, and that way, I can make sure that this is going nowhere anytime soon, which is good to see. And now I can get to the back here, right? I can open up the hatch. Now I get those bike helmets, coolers, anything else I might need from the inside. Albeit, it's not as easy as just tilting my carrier away and getting all those items I want. So that's probably the biggest limitation here with a Hollywood Destination Rack. But, you know, you are getting four bikes on here without breaking the bank, so pros and cons, right? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the dimensions we're working with here at Arctic One. It already kind of sits a little low. That hitch not giving us a lot of room to work with. Now, you can see we have a decent little rise in our carrier, but on the ends here, we only have a 15 and one quarter of an inch. Let me double check that. That might actually just be an eighth. No, one quarter. I was right. So that 15 and one quarter, already a little low. And that's why if you find yourself approaching a very steep incline, I take it nice and slow. We don't want to have any poor interaction with the ground because as those front wheels go up, the back will go down and so will your hitch mount mounted accessory. So do be a little careful there. Just take it nice and slow. That way we can get our, to our destination safely. Now we do have a little bit of length we're adding here today to our Taguan. Not the shortest vehicle out there, not the longest either. And we are working with about 39 inches here to the very end of our reflector. So that is quite a lot of distance, but staying within 40 inches for four bikes really isn't too bad. And we do have a way of actually shortening this up. On the inside here, we're gonna have a little retaining clip. Just gotta pull that guy like so. And then Lefty Lucy to move that guy out of the way, bringing this guy up into position. And you're not gonna go all the way. You are gonna have like this kind of like middle way point. Reinsert that speed knob then start tightening down. And this is gonna really eliminate a lot of that shake and play you're gonna have here in this setting, which is nice, because then you're not hearing it. It's a little smoother of a ride, which is always great to see. That's gonna really reduce our length down though. Now from the back here to the very end of our wings, that's putting me about right under 13 inches there. So about 12 and 7 eighths inches, which is great to see. That really cuts down that length, making it a lot easier to pull this in the garage somewhere, at the very least make it easier to park when you're at the trailhead. Now moving our way down to the inside, we can see we have a two inch shank here and we are held in by our two inch hitch receiver. On the inside of that, you are seeing a threaded anti-rattle bolt. So I really like these guys. They're very standard across the industry, but you love to see them. Basically they're pulling in the sides here, eliminating a lot of that shake and play that we're gonna have naturally and just making it for a lot smoother of a ride. And of course, on the inside of that, you are seeing a locking cord as well to start securing your carrier to your vehicle, which is great to see. So as I give this a shake, you guys are gonna see the whole of the Tiguan actually start shaking, which is great. That means we're in line with it and it's eliminating a lot of that road rattle that we would naturally have, making for a smoother ride for ourselves, our bike rack, but especially our bikes, which is great to see. Overall though, I really do like the Hollywood Destination. I think it's an awesome way of getting four bikes on the back of your vehicle without breaking the bank. Now there are gonna be a lot of carriers out there and I think that tilt away could be the make or break for this guy for a lot of you out there. But I just recommend doing a little perusing here at eTrailer.com, weighing your pros and your cons, and I guess I'll leave that up to you guys. In this position though, you are gonna see a loss to that backup camera. There's just a lot going on with this carrier. If that's something that concerns you as well, there are gonna be some more low profile, smaller carriers out there that can make it a little easier to actually back up. But otherwise, still an amazing way of getting a lot of bikes to your destination. That way we can start bringing our friends and our family to wherever we wanna go. But I think that about does it for our look here today at the Holiday Racks Destination 4 Bike Rack Carrier here on the back of our 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. I'm Bobby, thanks for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side-to-side -side action. It's kind of gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on and see how it holds up. 